This is more like I'm Victorian Hobbit. Celestial friends, I'm Echo, the Saving Sorceress, and today I'm going to organize my closet by aesthetics. Mainly Y2K, Twee, and Ballet Core. 2022 has some great trends, and I want to see what I can find in my closet that will fit those trends, and sort them by aesthetic so that I can decide which aesthetic do I want to wear today. I'll do a little bit of a clean out, a little bit of a try on, it'll be a fun sort of mix. So, without further ado, let's jump into my closet. I'm so excited to have you here again. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Last time, I sorted some of my clothes into the categories of fairy core, cottage core, and witchy. And I've discovered that I mostly gravitate towards witchy. I'm not too surprised about that. But I've taken a few of those categories out already because I wanted to have some free space to work with and I am going to take out the witchy category as well because you know those clothes are already sorted they already have their place that they belong I'm just so excited to do this I really like the trends this year and I'm just super pumped to see if I have things that fit into them I think I probably do also I kind of want to find out should I let go of any of these clothes sometimes you'll have clothes that you're sort of waiting for them to come back into style and they do and you try them on and you're like wait i like what this looks like on other people but it's just really not me anymore and honestly the best time to do that is when it's in style because then you know it's not the trends that are influencing you you know that maybe it's just not right for you. So yeah, I'll do a few try-ons of some different trends and see what I want to keep and what I'm ready to let go of. And whatever I'm ready to let go of, I'll sell on my Depop. All right, let's get started. First order of business, gotta move the witchy clothes. Are you ever surprised at how heavy clothes are? Cause like, wow. I mean, this is a collection of like an entire lifetime. But when just one aesthetic of clothing could make an entire capsule wardrobe, maybe it's time to downsize a little bit. Yeah, we'll see. Probably not the witchy clothes though. They're my favorites and I wear them all the time. What do you think though? Should I do a capsule wardrobe of witchy looks? That could be fun. Perfect. We've got a little bit of space here now. As I said in the last video like this, I love a lot of aesthetics and I don't want to choose just one. I'm gravitating towards witchy now, but what happens if I want a little bit of a different influence later? Although, let's be honest, I do kind of like a witchy spin to everything. Do you think I should make a sort of this aesthetic but make it witchy video? Let me know down in the comments if that's something that you'd enjoy. Because I really love finding out what the latest trends are and trying them out and seeing what I have in my wardrobe that fits them. But since I always go for witchy, maybe a combination of the two things would be exactly what I'm looking for. Yeah, let me know if that's something that would interest you too. Okay, so today we're focusing on Y2K Twee and ballet core. I think it's gonna be really cool finding different outfits for all of them. And you know, Y2K is very much what you would find at the turn of the millennium. It's a pretty eclectic group of clothes, but it involves a lot of cool layering. Cargo shorts could definitely fit in there a little bit. There's definitely quite a bit of denim involved. It's a pretty catch-all time period. And then Twee is kind of a little bit after Y2K. It's more cutesy. It's very Zoe Deschanel. It's very, I just wanna 
look like the girl next door. That's pretty twee. Twee definitely has its quirky elements too. It's cute and you know, a tiny bit out there, like a little taste of something different. And then there's ballet core, which is totally different than either one of those things and is leaning towards dancer vibes, very soft and flowy, very romantic, sort of like, you know, I just finished ballet practice and I'm headed out for a coffee. Out of the three, I think that might be my favorite one, but we'll find out. Let's try on some outfits and see what we can find. All right, let's begin. So I'm going to start with this dress, which weirdly enough gives me a little bit of ballet core vibes just because it's very form fitting and it's kind of like fancy black swan. So let's put ballet core right here and have it be the first and this little segment. We'll have to move some things around because there's just not space. A problem for another day. <laughs> but let's keep going. Hmm. Now this one, this one's very twee to me. It's super cute. It's a little bit of a t-shirt dress. And I could definitely dress this up to make it sort of twee, I think. Because you know, twee has a bit of a classy sweet feel. And country club sort of tennis dress. I think this really works with that style. Let's keep going. Oh my gosh. Ballet core. Absolutely. I love this dress, but I'm not sure it fits me really well. I'm gonna have to do a try on of this too, but it's just so romantic with the lace on the top. The skirt's not very ballet, but I think it's like business ballet. <laughs> I like it. I think it makes a good look. Okay, so I'm just going to be trying on loads of dresses, I guess, <laughs> because this one screams ballet core to me too. And it has kind of a flowy skirt, and um, the best part of all, it's got pockets. So that's incredible. <laughs> got little dancer vibes. All right. All of these are like actually in an aesthetic, so I can appreciate that. This seems sort of Y2K to me. It's got some cool plaid. It's got a little bit of like, she was a skater girl vibes. It's a little bit more punk princess, perhaps, but you know, that was, within the realm of Y2K as well. This dress, oh my gosh, Y2K. It's very much a Britney and Justin moment. I guess that was, was that Y2K or the 90s? Gosh, time just flies, I have no idea. I'm super proud because I made this dress. It is made out of all of my family's old jeans and I love it so very much. Probably gonna make something similar to this soon because those old jeans are really stacking up. I gotta get to crafting. See what I can do. Okay, so we've reached my tank top section and uh, they are all very Y2K. I mean, I don't know, Snoopy. Snoopy is timeless. This one's got a little bit of a nautical vibe, which isn't totally Y2K, but I have a feeling that'll come back in pretty soon, so I'll stick it with Y2K for now and we'll see where it goes next time. I feel like I have way more Y2K than everything else, but you know, that's probably when I started actually getting clothes that would still fit me now, so I guess that's why. Ooh, 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 yes. More tank tops. This reminds me of Hannah Montana. I don't know why, but it does. And I love that about it. So <laughs> just gonna keep that. This, very, very cute. Kind of like a cami. 
Hmm. Okay, well I'm gonna use that for something. That's cool. This makes me think of Lilo from Lilo and Stitch. So obviously that's amazing. And this is also kind of like a cami. And I like it. Look at that beadwork. Most of these fit in pretty well with Y2K, I think, so I will put them there. This one is definitely ballet core. Oh, and so is this one. The wrap top look is extremely ballet core. I actually made this top and this top. <laughs> I wanted a few crop tops that had a certain style, especially for layering, so you know, that would be good for Y2K, but the style of these by themselves, 100% ballet core. Scrunchy tops for Y2K. Hmm. This is like a soft grunge moment. So definitely not one of the styles that I'm working with right now, but I do really love soft grunge. Honestly, I want to make a whole video just about witchy meets soft grunge, perhaps. Because that... That would be fun. Finally! This would need a bit of dressing up to be twee, but I think you can handle it. Oh yeah! I feel like sweater vests are very twee. And I think, you know, with the right dressing up, they can be super cute. You know, if you like one, you like two. Ooh. This is more like I'm a Victorian Hobbit. Maybe it could be part of a twee look though. Maybe. This one is definitely, well, it would be twee, but it would be more likely to be part of Dark Academia. Hmm. It's a little sheer number. Hmm. I don't know, it gives me a Y2K. Uh, this is another nautical one. This gives me ballet core vibes. You know, there's something about the lace. This feels right there. Now to the other side of my closet, right here. And not the other other side of my closet, which hasn't been shown on camera yet. Stay tuned for future things. And probably a pretty large closet clean out. Maybe in the next couple of months, because I think that definitely needs to happen. Watch, I'll actually get rid of a lot of things then, maybe. Maybe. Now these two things were sort of the last time I did an organizing my closet by aesthetic video. I believe this one was fairy core, but let's be honest here. This is like a thousand million billion percent a ballet core top. It's perfect, it's quintessential. Oh my gosh, this is basically the most ballet core thing that I own. Being a bodysuit that looks very, very, very much like a leotard. I love this. I thrifted it pretty recently in one of my thrift hauls, I think a few months back, and it has served me well. I've worn it so many times already. It's just so lovely. I'm keeping all my skirts together as I did last time because skirts are sort of multi-purpose, so I'm not going to stick them in a certain aesthetic. They just go with whatever they go with, and they're going to like it. This one goes with nothing because I made it, but I love it. I was a leaf fairy the last time I wore it, and it was a lovely experience. It's an actual tutu. I mean, is that too on the nose? <laughs> Obviously ballet core. Oh my gosh! Look at this little cargo skirt! I love this thing. I can't decide if I'm the type of person who still wears short skirts like this, but I can't bear to let it go yet. I mean, it's got a sort of texture. It's super cool. But, yeah. I'm not gonna get rid of it just yet. Possibly ballet core. Ooh, Miley Cyrus brand. My goodness, this has been a very Hannah Montana episode. <sighs> what can you do about it? This 
is ballet core as well. Oh my gosh, look at how cute this is! With its little pleats and its little fake belt that does nothing. <sighs> Dreams. Dreams are made of this. This is super cute and I... I don't know. Twee? It could also be Y2K. You know, as I said, skirts contain multitudes. I was gonna say Y2K, but honestly, the way this flows could be a little ballet core. I don't know. Either way, but the best part about this skirt is that it's not a skirt, it's a skirt. Yeah. Skirts are amazing. I'm not really capable of sitting like a proper human adult, so skirts are just the best thing ever. I don't care that they're made for children. Skirts should be for everyone. Everyone. Yeah. None of these aesthetics. But they're hollow, so like very, very necessary. It's like the futuristic trend. Can we still call it futuristic if it's based on a future that was envisioned in like the 1960s? Questions. I'm gonna keep wearing these and being supernova girl. Twee? Twee. I don't even know, but I love this skirt. Kind of Y2K. Yeah. That skirt used to be a dress. I've modified so many of my clothes. This is when you've got way too many clothes and you don't have enough hangers for them. Y2K, Avril Lavigne life. Maybe a little bit twee. Not this one. I don't know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I love this one. See the gold lines running through this? I honestly would put this in dark academia which is not one of the categories, but again, I should have done that. <laughs> but I think it's pretty twee as well. And cute. I need to wear this more often. What am I doing with my life? This is hyper vintage as well. And honestly, also dark academia. Should I have just done dark academia? Goodness, what is happening? But like, it gives me a bit of Sherlock Holmes vibes. <laughs> My favorite witchy skirt. This is definitely ballet core, but it's also a high-low skirt. And the last time I did one of these, I told you they would be coming back in style one day. And guess what? They're coming back in style. I expect to see quite a lot of them next year. You know, don't get rid of the clothes that you truly love, even if they're out of style, because they will come back in. Nowadays, style means almost nothing anyway, so wear what you love, be who you are, embrace yourself, and love high-low skirts if you love high-low skirts, because I know that they are the mullets of the fashion world, but mullets came back in too, so why not these? Well, this clinches it. Definitely should have been a dark academia haul. <laughs> this is so dark academia, it hurts me. But. I think it could also make it twee as well. And it's another classic vintage from the 60s look. I am very lucky to have so much vintage. My mom is a very kind person. The romance. The flounce. It was fairy core last time, and now it's ballet core. Okay, so we're gonna skip over some of this because it doesn't really fit into any of these categories. But, I'd say this is kind of Y2K. It's very much let's write on the shirt all over the place with sassy sayings. Like, free hugs. <laughs> it's super sassy, okay? I found a very Y2K shirt. I mean, look at it. It's got a little phrase on the front. It's got built-in layering. It's perfection. skipping a lot of this stuff because honestly I feel like most t-shirts are just automatically Y2K. I just wanted to show this one specifically because 
I like it. It looks a little bit like an Ed Hardy shirt. I don't think it is, but it's just solid good and I should wear it more often. I think I will end on this lovely shirt that a thousand percent also gives me Y2K vibes and I think it's super cute. So I will put it there with the other Y2Ks. I'll probably leave most of the t-shirts over there though. If they don't scream Y2K, I may not be able to find them because I might forget where I put them. And we don't want that. <laughs> I'm just super excited about my different looks. I think I can safely say my closet is still largely Y2K outside of the witchy section, which is interesting and good to know about myself. Honestly, I think this kind of thing is really cool because you get to see what you already own, especially if you're a collector of thrifted clothes like I am. Sometimes it's hard to remember all of the stuff that I've thrifted and to appreciate all of it. So when a new trend comes in, I check it out and I see what I've got. Because shopping your closet is always the most sustainable option and always the first thing I'm going to do. <laughs> but I think I've fallen in love even more with the ballet core aesthetic. It's really it's nice, you know? Not something I would have thought of if it hadn't come back in style, so I think I'm going to try it out. And maybe later do a making ballet core witchy sort of thing. I think I already have some ideas. And Twee, I have learned, I think Twee may not be really my vibe, but I really like trying new things, so I'm excited to explore that one a little bit more. Well, my celestial friends, I am so glad that you could join me for this closet organizing experience. And any of the clothes that I decide I want to let go of, you'll be able to find on my Depop. Here, somewhere, are a few of the pictures of clothes that I would have featured in this if I hadn't already sold them on my Depop. I'm just excited I'm actually getting rid of some things right now. It's actually working. Clearly I need to keep going, but you know, a start is a start, so be sure to check out that if you are interested in any of this stuff. And also, again, I said this before, but I encourage you to look back through your own clothes and maybe start an online shop on Depop or Vinted or Mercari, Poshmark, Facebook Marketplace, anywhere where you might be able to let your clothes go to someone who could enjoy them more. I mean, truly, there are so many styles that are in right now, it's hard to keep track of them, but that really means that there's probably a buyer out there for something that you don't really need in your closet at this moment. So I really, really encourage you to do it. It's, it's a lot of fun. So yeah, that's about it. But I would love to know if you've tried any of these styles lately, like Y2K, Ballet Core, Twee, or, you know, anything else. Dark Academia, which I definitely mentioned a lot during this video. <laughs> the witchy aesthetic. <sighs> That's always going to be a favorite. You know, I'm a little biased. But, yeah, just let me know what you're finding in your closet lately or trying out for the first time. Also, if you enjoyed this video, I would really love it if you'd add a like and subscribe and ring the bell for more videos like this about thrifting and organizing and sewing, growing plants, and saving things, all with a witchy spin. I will be back next week with a brand new video, so see you soon. And remember, my celestial friends, save whatever clothes that you love, regardless of what aesthetic they fit into. Be kind to yourself and to the universe, and try to add a little bit of magic wherever possible to your corner of the world. Bye. I'm gravitating. I'm gravitating. <laughs> I could change it around, but I won't. Ah! Yee! I'm being attacked. <laughs>
Mm. Ooh, something fell. All skirts belong to the skirt world. I don't make any sense. <laughs> My stomach will not shut up. Maybe I need to eat something. Thanks, stomach. I didn't need your input right now, but I appreciate it, lovely. Okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh, everything is falling. <laughs> That's later me's problem. Yes, I'm dancing to the Supernova Girl song, but like silently in my head because of copyright. <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna stop talking now, bye. Mm -hmm.